And we can again use sidebars for, for most of it. So here location, In the first column we will again create a sidebar. And register. And the same for the right column. Let's export the team. And now if we go into customize, we have more widgets, we also have footer left and footer right. Add a widget and we will just display a text. And then the right. Again, we will use the text. Let's publish the changes. And here we again, we can notice that the, like the HTML version uses bootstrap text uppercase case class to make the text uh, displayed in uppercase but we'll use styling later to fix this and have it in uppercase as well okay so now only this part is missing in the footer around the web and these are social links we could use one of many wordpress plugins for social links but um, Personally, if I can find an easy solution without plugin, I prefer that. Uh, that's a good way to avoid a plugin mess. So let's see. So what we have here, we have different list items with uh, links and font awesome icon. And we can use customizer for these fields as well. So let's uh, select the button, the link, and we say customizer field, and we give it an ID, social, MB, Facebook. And we say, okay, this sh should be the link. But also we want to display this icon only if we actually have the Facebook profile. So what we can use now is we have a bunch of conditionals here. Let's close these categories like Pine Grove WordPress Builder has lots and lots of uh, text actions that map back to WordPress text. And here we need, it's called get team mode, mod. Th this is the function that returns the value of a customizer field. And we will use this to create a kind of conditional statement for each list item. But we don't want to add this if on the button on the link itself, we need to add it on the list item. So remember this, social FB, we will need it. We can copy it. And then we select the list item. And then we add get post mod conditional. And we specify the, the ID. And let's take a look at the code preview. And now we see the list item is enclosed with if statement that checks if this field is actually set, then we will display the item. And now we have to repeat this operation for the rest of, of these icons. Um, 
can be a bit boring, but let's do it quickly. So first we will do the buttons and we can add multiple actions to them and then we'll customize them individually and also on the list items we add the conditionals if get team mode okay so now we have to do one by one so we shall google and we can copy this And don't forget to select link here. And then on list item on the if, we use the, the field ID. This is Twitter. Again, the link, we copy this field ID and use it here and then LinkedIn link use it in the if statement Then the last one, what is it? Dribble. Yeah, let's take a look at the whole section of social links. So now we can see we have like list items and each is enclosed with the if statement. And we can also check if everything is correct. Social FB, social FB, Google, Google, Twitter, Twitter, LinkedIn, LinkedIn, and dribble, dribble. Okay. Can I export the team. Reload. Okay, now all of the icons disappeared because they are not set. So here they are. Let's just put in some quick placeholders and the icons should appear when we enter the link. Okay, and one last thing here in Customizer. Like now, this is called the default section. It's not really a nice name for, for it. So let's go back to PineGrow. And if we have just one customizer section, then the easiest way to add it is somewhere up on the page, like it can be on the top element or anywhere else is good as well. And then we find the customizer section. And here we say add customizer section action and we give it an ID. And title. And that's all that is required. And if we go export the team, reload. So now all of content is here and all of these fields are in, in there. One more thing to do, we have copyright here and we also want to make this notice dynamic. So let's go to Pine Grow and see what what we have here. Okay, it's just a simple small tag with the text. And 
we want to break this apart. So let's go to inline text editing with double click and we select the name of the website and we enclose it with a span and then we select the year and we enclose it with a span. Okay, done. And then we select the span with the name and we can use the site name action to display the name there and then we can select the year and we can use the PHP code action and we'll display date with Y parameter. This will display the current year so that we don't have to edit the this copyright notice every year. And let's check the generated PHP code for the whole uh, line. So here we have copyright and blog influence pen and the year, the current year. Let's save it. And here it is. Copyright Olaf Pineson 2018.